hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration I'm going to choose around let's say 30 seconds like this and background color is white color and simply hit ok. Then I'm going to create another composition, I'll call this comp as my script and simply hit ok and width I'm going to choose let's say 2000 and height i am going to choose 100 and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of strip now press ctrl y on your keyboard to create a solid bg i will call it as bg and simply hit ok like this then choose your text tool and you are free to type whatever text you want for the font i am going to choose poppins font i will choose the bold version of this font and over here i am going to type whatever text i want like this i will type kinetic typography I'll select this text, I'll press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Then I'll go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Then choose your text tool, select this text by hitting Ctrl A. Hit Ctrl C to copy, go to the end, hit spacebar two times and simply hit Ctrl V. Again hit spacebar two times and hit Ctrl V like this. Now select this text, press S for scaling option and scale it like this okay now select this text press p for position and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's hide this one for now select this text create one keyframe over here go to around two seconds press v and let's move this out of this composition like this now enable this kinetic typography text and i'll at this point which means i am on two seconds i'll select this text and i'll make it apparent with the second one like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now you can move this keyframe up to 6 seconds like this properly at 6 seconds like this now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this okay now let's hit ctrl k to open the project settings as you can see the height is 100 and simply hit ok and now what i'm gonna do I'm gonna create another composition I'll call it as two strips and for the height of it I'm going to choose 200 and width is 2000 and simply hit ok now hit ctrl 0 to open your project settings select the strip I'll move this over here and I'll choose the align bottom like this now select the strip hit ctrl D to duplicate it and choose align top now I'm gonna select this strip one right click go to the time and I'm going to choose time reverse layers like this so if you see we will get something like this okay now select this strip go to the effect and presets panel and simply search for tint effect to apply and simply swap these colors so we will get this kind of stuff now I'm going to create another composition and uh, width I'm going to choose 1920 uh, or let's say 200,000 only and height I'm going to choose 100, uh, 1080 and simply hit ok and hit ctrl 0 to open the project settings and I'm going to bring this two strips over here like this now select these two strips go to the effect and presets panel and search for what we call let's say CC repetile sorry and double click to apply this now uh sorry uh expand down i'm going to increase the value and also expand up i'm going to increase the value like this and if you hit play we will get this kind of animation now hit ctrl k to open the project settings and we will call this as first text and simply hit ok now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to bring our first text comp over here like this 
and go to the effect and presets panel and search for CC sphere effect so as you can see we will get this kind of sphere now increase the radius of it like this go to the lighting uh, we will can change the direction of this go to the shading we will increase the ambient shading like this let's change the direction like this okay now you can go to the rotation and if you want then you can rotate it somewhere around like this let's make it minus 20 and let's rotate it on this axis to minus 20 only like this so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation you can choose full resolution so we will get something like this now i'm going to create another composition and let's call it as second text only second text uh, with this uh, 2000 and now i'm going to make it 1920 and height 180 and let's hit ok then press ctrl 0 and as you can see we have this strip composition over here we will simply bring it over here like this we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for tint effect on it and we will swap this color press s for scaling option and scale it until it's gonna match this so as you can see at 96 value it's gonna match this so this is my second text comp let's go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and bring our second text composition over here like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc cylinder and simply hit ok so as you can see we are getting something like this let's hide this first text for now let's go inside the lighting i am going to increase the light like this then go to the shading let's increase the ambient now select this first text and as you can see the light direction is 33 in our cc spare effect so we will in cc cylinder i am going to choose 33 only like this and now i am going to make this rotation i am going to make this i think in the first text we have chosen the minus 20 and minus 20 so we will select this we will choose minus 20 and we will choose minus 20 for this one also so if you see this now we will get something like this let's make this plus 20 let's enable this obviously we are getting something like this now secret this uh, second text and let's increase the radius of it like this so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff let's decrease the size of it like this okay now select the second text and from here i am going to change the color of this one to red and in render instead of full i am going to choose only outside now select this head control d to duplicate it and let's increase the size of it like this select this head control d let's increase the size of it again select this head control d and let's increase the size of it like this again hit control d and let's increase the size of it like this and again hit control d sorry not in cc cylinder but this composition hit control d and let's increase the size of it also if you want you can adjust the size of this one also and select this and adjust the size of this one also okay so if you hit play we are getting this kind of the comp is gonna get some heavy so let's make this quarter resolution we will get something like this now select all the six composition we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we will bring it over after this first text and we will change the color to yellow so we can recognize now select this second text and instead of outside i am going to choose inside also select this one choose inside select this one and 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 choose inside but as you can see it looks quite weird so let's make this full as you can see it looks weird over here so we will select this one we will bring this at the top then we will select this one we will bring this over here select this one we will bring this over here this one over here and this one over here 
so now as you can see this looks proper to me and now let's make the quarter resolution so we will get this kind of stuff which is quite cool and now if you want to do certain things so you can select this one as you can see I'm selecting second one over here so from here I'm going to choose second one and I'll choose alternate composition like this and like this and now I'm going to type time time reverse layers so if you see as you can see they are rotations are in a reverse manner as you can see I have chosen the alternate versions of each and every one like this now again I'm going to select this one or instead of that select this yellow compositions go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect so simply apply and swap these colors select this tint effect hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v so now if you hit play we will get something like this now select this one and i'm going to choose full resolution to see uh, and let's enable this option or instead of that select this first which is our this ball let's go to the effect and presets and search for drop shadow effect let's decrease the opacity to 20 increase the distance to 20 and increase the softness to 100 like this or you can make it 200 like this select this drop shadow hit ctrl c to copy select all of them hit ctrl v to paste it. select all of them and hit ctrl v to paste it so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff let's make this quarter resolution like this so this is how you can create this kind of kinetic typographic animation like this if you select this one press let's see what happen if our uh, rotation like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animations so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.